A few weeks ago, Coinbase launched ACE, a layer 2 blockchain built on top of Ethereum. It is fast and is cheap, which means it could be the home for the next generation of Web3 apps. But building a Web3 app is hard. You need to be an expert at so many tools, understand so many concepts just to start a prototype. This is where Third Web comes in. Building on base is super easy with the web. It gives you all the tools you need to get started and build a great Web3 app. In fact, we use the web to build Cat Attack, the first game on base. It's a fun little game with cats. You start level one with a small kitten, you evolve it to a grumpy cat, and eventually you get a level three ninja cat to attack other players. It's a very simple loop, and we built this in only two days. But guess what? This game got a hundred thousand players, and the contract for the game got over a million transactions. It is the hottest contract on base right now. And I'm gonna show you how to build your own you could be the next big hit on base. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is, if you haven't already, is install the Coinbase Wallet Browser extension. So the first thing you might wanna do is get some testnet money. Here, for example, you can get some base girly ETH on the Coinbase Faucet website, and all you need is a Coinbase Wallet Browser extension. Just click here and you'll get some base testnet funds. Once you have that, jump over to thoweb.com slash dashboard. Every Web3 app starts the same way. You're gonna need a contract. And Thoweb has multiple ways to do this. You can write your own contract and deploy it via the CLI, or you can go to the dashboard and pick one of the already available contracts that uh, are available in this Explore page. For our case, we want to build a edition drop because we're going to drop a brand new cat NFTs to our players, which is going to unlock something in the game. So I'm going to pick edition drop here. Let's go ahead and just deploy it. So here, when I deploy it, it's going to ask me for basic information. So cat attack has been hugely popular and I want to add a little extra functionality to it. So what we're going to build today is a new drop that's gonna give our players new skins for, this is their kitten, their grumpy cat, and their ninja cat. And notice there's a bit of a theme. They're all kind of engineers slash builders here. I'm gonna make it so if you hold this NFT, which is called the Death Cat, you're gonna unlock new skins in the cat attack game. So let me show you how to build this, really easy. I'm ready to deploy my edition drop now, Death Cat drop. Let's put a little image for it. We're gonna use our cute like dev cat icon here. And then from here, all I have to do is choose base girly from the dropdown here. If you don't have it configured, type base and select base and add it to your networks. Here I already have it. So now I'm ready to add it to my dashboard. And so let's go ahead and deploy it. It's just asking me to confirm here on my Coinbase wallet. It's going to be one more signature, so this doesn't cost anything, just to add it to my dashboard so I can easily find it later. And there we go. My contract was deployed. Here's my contracts dashboard page. So this is an NFT contract, ERC-1155. And so it gives me a nice NFT tab where I can see all my NFTs and mint my NFTs right from the dashboard. Let's mint an NFT here, and this is gonna be just DevCat, I think I'm gonna call it. And this is gonna be this um, little visual here. Let's go and mint this on our contracts. So this process is called lazy minting because I'm not actually minting it to my address. What I'm doing is I'm preparing this NFT to be claimed by other people. And that's gonna be the players. So this has uploaded all my metadata to IPFS and now I'm ready to actually call the contract. So let's confirm that. Here's our DevCat NFT. Now you can see that the supply is zero here and that's because no one has claimed any yet. Again, we just prepared this NFT to be claimed. One thing that you can do is you can click on the NFT and see some details about it. And the important thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna set our claim conditions. 
This can get really powerful. You can have multiple phases with different rules. Here, I'm gonna call this a public dev drop. And we can say, when will people be able to start minting? How many will you drop in this phase? So I wanna make it so that not everybody can claim. We're gonna make it a little limited supply. So let's say 10,000 NFTs is gonna be the maximum amount that people can claim. How much do you wanna charge? So we can put a price here. We're not gonna put any price. And then who can claim these NFTs? For our case, we're gonna leave it open, but you can see here, you can create interesting uh, mechanics here for your community. And then how many NFTs per wallet can be claimed? We're gonna say only one per wallet and that's it. I'm gonna save my flame faces here and this is gonna do a, another transaction on my contract. So all of these rules that you see here are actually encoded into my contract so nobody can bypass them. Let's confirm that. We're all ready to go. We don't want people to do it through there. We wanna create our own application where people can claim those dev cats. So now we're ready to build our app and we have all of the code here in the dashboard to help us do that. So let's jump over to Replit. If you look for ThurWeb, you'll have a bunch of uh, templates that we prepared. And one of them is specific for this edition drop. Here I've spinned up our edition drop template, which really comes with a React app that is gonna show my NFT in a nice claim button for people to claim. So here's the app. I just uh, started this edition drop claim page template on Replit and I opened the main file. The first thing that you see here is that you need to tell the app which chain your drop is gonna be on. And of course, we're gonna do our drop on base. So how do we do that? Here, we actually have a lot of different chains. For example, you can just type base girly as one of the chains and you see it's in our third web dev chains package. So it's already all pre-packaged up for you. Now that I've set my chain here, all I need to do is pass it to the third web provider that's gonna wrap our app and make sure that we're always connected to base all across our application. Then from there, I can go into my actual app code here. This is my homepage. And you can see there's another to do here, which is to put the contract address. Which contract do we wanna display the drops from? Luckily, if we go back to our dashboard, so I clicked here to copy the address and going back to my Replit code, here, I'm just gonna paste the address here. Uh, the last thing you can change is which NFT do you want people to be able to claim? So again, if we go back to our NFT tab here, see that our token ID for our dev cat is token ID zero, it's the first one. So that's what we put up here. And then from here, we kind of just followed what the code tab in the dashboard tells us to do. We did use contract to get an instance of our contract in our app and then use NFT to get an NFT and display it. And then there's other things like get the supply, easy enough that you can go ahead and start mo modifying this. This is just a great starting point. So I think we're ready to go. Let, let's, let's run this thing, let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna type yarn dev, which opens up the web view right here in Replit. This is the mobile view. We can look at the, the desktop view here. This is the basic claim functionality. I see my NFT, I see how many have been minted so far. Can select the quantity, although for us it's only maximum one per wallet, so this does nothing. Let's try it out. We can open this in the new tab. So here's the full app that we built. Even the connect wallet functionality is all one React component that we're able to just slap on our application and it handles everything for me. So here I'm gonna connect my Coinbase wallet. So that's it, now I'm connected. So let's mint our first Def Cat NFT on the front end that we built ourselves on Replit in a few minutes. I'm gonna click Mint, confirm the transaction on my Coinbase wallet, and there you go. Successfully minted NFT. Now I'm ready to building and making my website my own and start building my DevCat on-chain community using those NFTs. It's gonna unlock new skins in the Cat Attack game and that's it for me.
Thanks for listening. Go build cool Web3 apps. In just a few minutes, we build the foundation of the Cat Attack game. Now you have all the tools you need to build great Web3 applications. And who knows, you could be the next big hit on base.